2030, 23 years from now, it'll be 25 years since uh, Hurricane Katrina. So my concern is about global warming. Um, apparently, it is accelerating three times faster than we expected. So what will happen in 23 years to our cities and our countries and our continents? We could lose millions of people through um, unnatural disasters, flooding, tornadoes, hurricanes, fires. Um, it's a sad, sad situation unless we start taking uh, the challenge now to make a difference and, and change those problems that are ahead. Um, if we keep losing the rainforests, we're uh, not protecting our environment by the loss of trees, uh, with population control, um, growth actually, um, there's going to be more farmlands uh, being created in the um, rainforest. Worldwide, we're going to need more food, which means probably the food will be processed, refined, and bioengineered, so what's going to happen to our human body, nutrition-wise? Um, technologically speaking, uh, we'll definitely be more advanced. I see that our children will be learning from computers in the schools. I see robotization and computer technology taking on the workforce. So I'm not really sure where people fit into the workplace. This is a great concern to our children and grandchildren. Um, space travel will probably be affordable, more so than it is now. It'll be a, a frequent vacation trip for families and individuals and for businesses and conferences and such. Um, I think with the increase of nuclear weapons is a real problem. I think that that nuke buildup is a fluke. Nuke fluke. Um, I don't think we need that type of greed. I think we're moving backwards. We need to focus on new energies. And what I would say basically is we want new clear air, not nuclear air. New. N E W. C L E A R clear nuclear air not nuclear air